So now they're past the point of knowing how to navigate the situation. They're past the point of trusting in their boat and their ability. They can't even see the little ships. They don't even know where they're at. So, they, so now God's asleep. He's asleep. Have you ever felt like He was asleep? Y'all, let's, let's just be honest and have some church today. Okay? The, the quicker you say amen, the quicker we get to through. I have to quit at 10.30 regardless. Okay? And so, but it is 30 minutes. That's a long time down here in this sweat. Alright? Okay. So how many of you ever talked to God and you thought, you know, God, you need to kind of wake up because we got a serious situation here. Does anybody, anybody know what I'm talking about? Okay, if I got anybody here, I need to preach to somebody that needs some peace. I need to preach to somebody that's looking at hell from wall to wall and your life is gone to hell and gone and you have no idea what you're going to do because you can't tell me that you're happy about the situation and the circumstances that we're facing as a nation and you can't tell me that you're happy about what some of the churches are doing. They're just backing away, closing their mouths and going to the house. Okay, They in the prayer closet but they ain't doing nothing but shaking. It's time we need to open up our mouth and look at whatever your storm is. I don't care where it's at, what it is. The only thing that will change it is if you change the narrative and change the story and stand out on the bow of your ship and say, peace, be still. Amen. 